Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading, how are you? Yes, I am wearing a Sagittarius shirt, it doesn't mean that this is a Sagittarius reading, it says Pisces down there, okay? But I will not be able to change my shirt, because I start with a Zodiac, and then I try to keep changing, but laundry can get overwhelming every day, okay? So I will wear your shirt, but it's also in the collection down there for the apparel line, apparently it's called, okay? And it's gonna be down there below. Let's begin. Crystal recommendation. Okay. Let's see if it's a crystal recommendation for my Pisces. Okay. Make sure to visit us in Los Angeles. Alrighty. If you're ever in town, I will if I'm not here, I am there. Also follow me on Instagram. Oh, clear quartz. This is easy. Okay. Today I got challenged by all the different kinds of crystal I've never seen. Okay. And clear quartz, of course, we have this in our store. You can check it out. The master healer, it's called. The most programmable, okay, um, crystal ever. Mm. Meaning, you can use it for anything. Um, crystal starts as um, clear quartz. As time, the, you, the earth, you know, heats, uh, heats up this whole wonderful things, it changes color. So this one is uh, amethyst. So look, at the bottom right there, it's still clear. So as the temperature heats thousands of years before we existed, it becomes like this. Mm -hmm. So check it out. Clear quartz. That's how. We, why, why did I teach you how it becomes a quartz? <laughs> oh, what is good? <laughs> um, uh, it's a master healer. Uh, I would hold this. This is a starter for anybody who's new to crystal work. Um, it is the first crystal normally that you will get associated with because it's just comforting, loving. Um, since it's programmable, you can charge it under the sun. You can charge it also under the moon, depending on your intention. It's very flexible. So this is flex pay, basically. <laughs> Either COD or flex pay. No, you can do it. Uh, you can use it for anything. Mm -hmm. And what's important with this one is don't allow anybody to touch it because if it's programmable, okay. So that's that. Now this one is celestial. You can check it in my in my uh, store also. I just made it like this, okay. So, let me see. Okay, here we go, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles. Doom -do -doom. Okay, Turinian. Waiting. Okay. Someone's waiting for you. That's what I can tell you. It's not you. Someone is waiting for a reply from the Pisces. So this is more of a cross watcher reading. So you're waiting for the Piscean to talk. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is a slow and steady, they say. Um, the person is, of course, um, the because it came from a page, there's really a promise for this to become a serious relationship because it comes from a page of Pentacles. They're willing to understand and they're very steadfast. They can really um, endure a lot of things in life. That's, a ste that's the Knight of Pentacles. Let me see. Ooh, Ten of Cups. All right. Now, you could be married, waiting for divorce and separation, and you got your own boo. <laughs> okay. I love Pisces as options. Just saying. So with the Ten of Cups over here, it shows that, Pisces, you, have, you, ha you are already in love, have a family, can be. Or if you're single, you're self-absorbed. No, I'm kidding. Because <laughs> single gets to go, you're self-absorbed. No, it's not. No, you're not. You're just living your life the way that you want it. You just know you don't need to explain to anyone. You really, uh, if I was to coach you and you're you're having issues about certain people and then explaining, you don't explain. There's so much people. It's a waste of time. Mm, I don't. I never explain myself only to my mom. Okay, meaning anak. <laughs> when my mom goes like anak, I have to explain, and I would say, well, it's good quality, so I bought it. <laughs> Ten of Cups. So you're living a life of singlehood. Um, you have your own happiness. There's someone who likes you. Knight of Pentacles. Uh, with the Ten of Cups, like what more can you ask for right now, Pisces? 
when you're whole and complete and single, do you really ask for a Taurus? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm a Taurus myself. Okay. And a Pisces too. Judgment. You came out from divorce and separation, like what I told you. No strings attached right now. You're vibing like the Capricorn. No strings attached. Oh, no, Sag. I started with the Sag. Yeah, the Sag here. <laughs> the Sag here. So it can remind me. So, um, right now, so you, you're starting a clean slate in life. Um, with the judgment over here, it feels like you listen to your guides. It's difficult, really, to separate with someone, especially if you're married with kids. But you've faced that already. You know, like, okay, this is what I have to do. I can't choose the family and the kids and then, you know, make yourself, as you know, put yourself in the back burner. You prioritize yourself. And ever since that, everything just fall into place. Love it. Um, three of one, someone is wondering about you every time, but you haven't replied. This is them. I wonder when the Pisces is going to reply. Don't ask me. Ask the Pisces. Call them. Mm. So easy. Okay, why, why you don't want to text the Pisces? Let me see. Uh -huh. And I wonder why the Pisces is not replying. The tower. Ooh, someone's having a meltdown. Aries can be. Um, the tower over here shows that someone wants to break their silence. Yes. Okay. Someone who, if they haven't moved, they will move now. If you're waiting for someone to make the, the first mover effort. Now, I'm not sure about this whole generation, where the year is now, when who really makes the first move at this era. Because time has, time has changed, but energy doesn't. Ooh, someone is dropping bombs over here. Yes, there is what we call the feminine and masculine energy. They don't go to transformation. <laughs> it's the law of the ethers in the universe that the masculine will always be the one to make the move. This is not about based on genitalia or gender. This is based on the energy itself. Meaning based on Navamsha. Thank you. <laughs> because the Navamsha will show if you are the masculine or the feminine. Mm-hmm. So, which means that the genitalia is irrelevant. The Navamsha is what we need to look for. Now, um, Aries is masculine, Taurus is feminine, Gemini masculine, Cancer feminine, Leo masculine, and then it's odd even, odd even. It's like EDSA, odd even scheme. Mm -hmm. So, odd even in Navamsha. So, check yourself then. What is your ascendant in your Navamsha? Because you can have a female genitalia or whatever genitalia that you prefer. Um, but in Avamsha, you will be the feminine or the masculine. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So know your chart. The Six of Cups. Ooh, child. Someone's definitely going to make a move because they feel the connection. So they know. So they know that they are the masculine. They just realize that, that they are the masculine in this connection instead of them sitting there waiting for the Pisces to make a move. The Pisces is not going to make a move. High Priestess. The Pisces here is the feminine. Now, look at that with the strength card over here. Now, the Pisces likes you. I'm just letting you know. Um, but they know how to tame their desire. Very, very good. How to tame your desire. Because you cannot control it. You can tame it. <laughs> Trust me on that one. <laughs> Meaning it's always going to be there. The desire is the passion. Okay? So when you're taming it here with the strength card, you know what to say, when to say, and not to say. That's controlling your desire. Because some people can be just like, I really like you. <laughs> Desire, right? For you, it's just like, I will, I will have some sort of like a cordial communication. High priest is like, you keep things reserved to yourself. You're not an open book to the person, basically. You have the five of wands and the chariot. You left a very troublesome relationship or marriage. I'm happy for you that you left that. Chariot with the... Charot. <laughs> charot. Chariot with the five of wands. Let's face it, Pisces. Drama is so 1999, okay? During the millennium bug. That has been a long time ago. So. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't born then. I'm only 23, which makes me 1998. <laughs> so I was three years old during the millennium. <laughs> which millennium? So? <laughs> Centennial. Yeah, so um, you don't resonate in drama anymore. I don't know. Does people still resonate with drama? I don't. I am quick to exit if there's drama. I am quick to shut down when there's drama. Not because I will not entertain it. It's just because it's not my problem. I have my own problem. So let me deal with my own drama. That's what you did. Chariot with the five ones. I got my own thing. 
So if I were to deal with your own thing, that's not my thing. That's your planet. That's not mine. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Yes, Queen. Mm -hmm. You get an offer. Someone wants to take you out on a nice date. Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. You're open to this. It's a new person. So people would say it's like, eh, I like the ex. Well, this not this reading is not for the ex. This reading is for someone who has break free from an ex. With the tower, okay? And high priestess, you're not gonna talk about that person anymore because you know better judgment. You love yourself more than, okay, the idea of we're gonna be together forever. Mm -hmm. There is no forever, exactly. <laughs> Ten of Cups, there is a forever love for yourself, though. This is something that should exist all the way. Loving yourself. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups. But now, since you love yourself, Ten of Cups, someone loves you. And someone reciprocates it. Ace of Pentacles with Ace of Wands. And let's see what's the juicy business of this person who never made a move for a long time. Three of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles is about to make a move. What's their message towards you? Link down there, um, Pisces, for the extended reading. Make sure to check out everything Pisces in the Pisces collection down there in the description box. And also, check out my Instagram at Salvador if I'm not here. Check out my store in Los Angeles. If I'm not here, I would be there. Say hi. I'll see you guys again. Bye.